Welcome to Excel Formula Efficiency Series number 11. Hey, this is a series where we will learn how to build fast calculating formulas for big spreadsheets. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and then you can download this workbook, Excel Formula Efficiency Series. Hey, in this one, we don't want to talk so much about how f uh, fast your formulas calculate as we want to talk about how fast to build something. We're just going to, I'm going to show you how fast it is to build a table with a pivot table and then with formulas. There is no comparison. If you can use a pivot table, which you can't in all situations, but if you can use a pivot table, it's so much faster. What I want to do is I want to build a table uh, that has sales reps, and products and then the intersecting uh, column and row I want to add up the sales. So to do a pivot table and I'm going to do this all real fast. Um, there's links up here if you want to see the details of how to build these formulas and this pivot table. Alright I'm going to do a pivot table use the keyboard shortcut Alt NVT that's 2007. Alt NVT. I'm going to click on the existing worksheet scroll over here and I'm actually going to put it in uh, uh, H12. Now uh, there's a field list here and in 2003 it looks like this, in 2007 it looks like this. I'm going to select the sales rep and in 2003 you drag there. And not the sales rep, I'm going to uncheck that. The um, Yeah, the sales rep. Boop, and then the product over to the column just like that. And then I'm going to take the sales. So 2003 you drag it there, 2007 you drag it here. Sales and pretty much instantly I am done. Now that was just a bunch of clicks. Let's see how to do it with a formula. I'm going to close this field list. The problem with a formula is first we have to get a unique list of sales reps and products. Well we can do that. I'll click in the sales rep column, control shift down arrow and then I need to do advanced filter unique record. 2003 you click on the data ribbon here advanced filter in 2003 you go to uh, data menu filter advanced filter I'm gonna click it looks like my advanced filter is going real slow here there it is um, I'm gonna copy this to another location there is no criteria range because I'm gonna use unique and I'm gonna copy it to right here H24 click OK. Now I want to do the same thing uh, but for the products column. Now I'm going to go up to data. I'm not going to highlight this because advanced filter remembers. So I'm going to have to uh, copy to but I'm going to have to redirect this. So now I want products. And by the way as I mentioned in other videos when we did uh, advanced filter uh, you got to include the field name right there or else you'll get one duplicate. No criteria because we're using unique records and instead of H24 I want the one right next to it. Click OK. Okay so I have my two lists. I'm actually going to highlight this and watch this. This is a great trick. I'm going to hold shift and point to the edge. This is hard. This is like pivot tables. I'm going to try and drag it. It's not letting me do it. Well that was it. Let's try it this way. I want to try it. There we go. Like that. And then drop it and it actually moves it and shifts it over. Now I want to um, put product and then sales rep in one cell so I'm going to double click scoop control C I'm going to double click here do, this, do a slash control V click in this cell and I'll use the keyboard shortcut for clear all alt E A A and then I'm going to highlight these copy right click paste special transpose highlight these alt E A A to clear all and then I'm going to highlight the insides of this table here. Let's see if I can get this right. I'm actually going to blow this up a little bit. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to see if I can blow this up. Because what we want to do is we have a two conditional sum. And I'm going to use the uh, sum product. Um, act, uh, yeah, sum product. Even though it's not the fastest, we've been seeing all these great sum ifs. If, if you're in Excel 2007, use sum ifs equals sum product. And the first array is going to be product, so I'll come over here. I'll get product without the field name, control shift down arrow, F4, equals this product. And this cell reference needs to be locked going down, but not to the side, so I'll hit F4 twice. Close parentheses, time, open parentheses. Now I need the sales rep, so I'll go over and get the sales rep column. I click on the top one, control shift down arrow, F4. That has to equal this one right here and it needs to be locked going down but not to the side so I'll hit F4 uh, tw 
twice? Actually, that's incorrect. This one is incorrect. Because when we copy this formula this way, it needs to be stuck on Carlota. But when we copy it down, it needs to move to the next product. So it actually has to have dollar sign in front of the H. Then close parentheses. Finally, we need to times our sales range. Sales range. Control shift down our F4. Now I'll close parentheses, and this is not an array formula proper because I'm using some product. I've highlighted the whole range, so now I can just control enter, and I have my data. There it is. You can see that pivot tables are much faster. There's our uh, 938 for Chin Great Carlota, Chin Great Carlota. So at all costs, when possible, please use pivot tables because it will save you so much time. You can have extra vacation. All right, please come back to uh, number 12, our final. We'll, we'll compare a bunch of formulas for speed, and I'll see you then.